Is experience its own form of expertise? Is fake news fake if you really believe it? Is seeing more than believing? In March 1965, hundreds of Michiganers reported seeing UFOs, glowing lights floating over the tree line in the distance. Investigation by scientists, however, revealed these lights to be nothing more than illuminated swamp gas. Despite this swamp gas explanation holding scientifically true, Michiganers rejected this expert analysis, complained to their elected officials, and ultimately played a part in getting the Air Force to launch yet another investigation, formal scientific investigation of UFO phenomena. Over the course of my archival research, I've been struck by the overlap in narrative between UFO ciders and other contemporary forms of rejection of expertise. See, for example, those who argue that because a snowstorm dropped two feet of snow, the global temperature cannot possibly be on the rise. In a society that privileges expertise, making space for alternative forms of knowledge and expertise, for instance, the experiential kind, at once both democratizes and destabilizes traditional political arrangements, and it has serious social stakes. Thank you.